So James, we sit here today as Kane signs a long-term deal with the club. Just your initial thoughts, please. Delighted with it. Um, first and foremost, a, a great kid um, to work with and a, a very, very good footballer. He, he came in and, and as we spoke about before, he's had to, he's had to wait his time and and persevere and then and keep training away. And then when he, when he finally did break into the team, I think we, we saw the impact. Loads of potential still. Um, but the good thing about Kane is he's, he's always desperate to get better. He's desperate to learn. And as a football club, he's he's going to be a real asset for us. But loads of work still to do, but we know that. But no, delighted. And I'm sure every one of the fans will be delighted as well. As you say, he had to persevere, wait for his time and keep working hard. But that probably was part of what impressed everyone around the club, wasn't it? That he just kept on working hard and by the end of the campaign he, he was probably indispensable to the squad. Yeah, look, we, and that's you get that in a loan sometimes. Like players come in and if you compare Kane to Paul McGowan, for example, I had worked with him, I had played with him, so Benedict is coming in again, not as a loan player, but you know these players. Chris Mockery I, I had seen a lot more of as well. We were well aware just how like, how good Kane was with his background at, at Manchester City, then at Rangers. And cut but there is a jump um, from from Academy football to first team football where every pass, every decision out there matters. It could matter for for the sake of three points, you're in front of a bigger crowd. So it was never it was never an issue in terms of Kane coming in and he didn't he? throw the toys out the pram, so to speak, he didn't do anything like that, he just kept working, he got his head down and, and worked really hard to to do what we're asking him to do, yeah, he certainly done that, and then when he did, but but also, going back, what it showed was his, his mentality, we quickly got to see just how, how desperate he was to be a footballer, how desperate he was to make the step up to first team level, so as much as he wasn't, we didn't see too much of him on the pitch, we certainly got to know him off the pitch as well. And, and day after day, he worked really hard to, to improve his game. And, and he got the rewards, like the, the certain things in the season when he comes off against, I remember the Falkirk game out there and the referee done us a favour that day and sent him off at the other side of the pitch and he walked round. And it just showed you just the appreciation that, that our fans have for him because he he what he'd done on the pitch. So, no, it, it was... And come the end of the season, yeah, you're right. It was it was fantastic. Whether and, and the beauty with Kane, he can play, he can play as a right wing back. He can play in as one of the tens. He, he can be a, a deeper midfielder as well. So now we've signed a player that that has loads of potential, but we know that's in there, and it's up to us to get it out now. As you kind of touched on off camera, there the fans will be absolutely delighted once this news gets out, and that that must be great. That so early on into the summer break that one of your key targets has been signed up. Yeah, and he has been a key target. Um, we're not, and I'm not just sitting saying this now because because the deal's agreed, but he has been a key target, and the way he finished the season, but also as we touched on the way he trained, conducted himself. He's a he's a credit to his family. He's a credit to Rangers Football Club and. And Billy Kirkwood as well, who who was excellent and all over the, the course of the loan. We we coming and watching him, we we speaking to me and, and speaking to Kane also. So I, I thank you to to him for that. But no, our fans are going to be, be over the moon with this one and I don't know if it matters, it's so early, but when when someone has such a good end to the season then you, you want to get it done as quickly as possible anyway, because you know that there'll be there'll be other suitors, other people that it would have had a look at him. So no, as a football club, we're delighted. It has a long-term deal as well. So yeah, that that's the challenge for Kane now. He, he was coming out of contract at Rangers. At, and that was agreed in the, the loan at the very start um, that, that there was the option. So it was always one that we weren't looking to just bring him in to, to fill a wee gap for this season. He, he's a player that was identified that, that we could bring in. We, we could improve and that, that's... It's just I'm talking from a first team level. We could improve that the mindset, the mentality to to play in front of a big big crowd and to play playing games where you had to win. So he's experienced that. He's he's seen that side of it now. But the challenge for Kane now is to kick on again and and go and prove himself at Championship level and beyond. I know that you've spoken about the backing that you've had from the board and the the owners previously, but again, it just really emphasises how much they are behind you and what your plans are for the future going forward that again they've been able to commit a long-term deal to, to such a young player with so much potential 
Yeah, and if you look over maybe the last last two months, that the younger ones in terms of Josh Edwards, Matty Todd, Kane now added to that as well. So we're building a, a strong core of a, of a team that, that we want. We, look, again, we, we don't want to be chopping and changing every pre-season, every, every January window. We'll add when we, we feel we need to add, or injuries can sometimes dictate, but... I say the board and the owners have been have been fantastic again, and and this was a really big one for us um, to get this done and, and get them out of Rangers as well. So, no, look, again, I thank you to them, and but now now it's all we can. Um, I'm looking forward to getting them back and, and working with them because we, we've only scratched the surface with with the kid. I think we need to we need to push him again. He needs to push himself, but but the beauty of that lad is that, that he knows he's got that to do, and he, he's more than happy to work.